this uh, super cool for me virtual event organized by Arrow. <clears throat> As you may know, Arrow is our partner. Um, in Europe, we are working very intensively with Aero um, as our distributor, as our partner, and we are very glad to be one of the sponsors and vendors during this uh, conference. One more time uh, to all the people from Aero on the organization, uh, congrats. I think it's very cool. <clears throat> Unfortunately, in this era of um, Corona, we are um, stopped, how to say, to meet face to face, to have some partner events, to, to be on, on the events, to have a chance to talk to each other, which I prefer. Um, however, it's how it is. I'm hoping that we will be back to normal business. But in the meantime, I think it's very good that we have um, such options like virtual conferences. <clears throat> Okay, so first of all, um, let me introduce myself for the ones who don't know me. My name is Mila. I'm working as account executive um, here at Haiku for almost two years now. And um, I'm responsible for Benelux region, so for Belgium, Netherlands, and Luxembourg. Today, I'm happy that I can share a bit more about our multi-cloud data protection solution. It's all about the clouds now, right? So we will cover a bit about the on-prem um, data protection and recovery, but also then we will, we will jump into the clouds and <clears throat> cover that part as well. Um, I will try to wrap it up maybe in 10 minutes. And then my colleague Vladimir, uh, who is also on the call, who is our system engineer, he will take it over and then he will actually show you everything in practice because I think it's always more interesting for you to see actually rather than me just showing you uh, PowerPoint slides, right? Cool. So let's start. Um, as you can see here, we have Haiku Protégé. Um, I will try to explain you in short what is Haiku Protégé, but actually I think it will make more sense when you see it. So when we started, we started with a focus for the on-prem uh, data backup solution, right? So we fo fully focused on Nutanix, who is our strategic partner. Then we also have support for VMware, but then we simply saw directions towards the clouds from our customers, from our partners, that simply people are, um, how to say, depending on a region, but very eager to move into clouds, either to have backups in the clouds old, or to have the complete migration from on-prem to the cloud. So at this point, what Haiku has, we have a solution Haiku for GCP, so for Google. Um, recently, uh, we have released Haiku for Asia, right? And AWS is coming, so that's currently not supported, but I am hoping that it will be available maybe by the end of um, this year or beginning of the next year. So who we are, I don't know uh, the ones who are on the call, how much you know about us, but in short, Haiku is actually a software company, American company with a headquarter in Boston, uh, US. Um, <clears throat> our sales offices and main development centers are actually here in Europe, uh, where we have huge engineering teams and support teams, so mostly technical guys. Um, Roughly, I believe that we are between 300 and 400 employees, if I'm not mistaken. But maybe what is more important is for you to know that Haiku has been here on the market more than uh, 25 years. So that's a lot, right? That's almost three decades we have been on the market. Uh, why I mention this, for the people who are not familiar with Haiku so far, uh, for the ones who think that Haiku name is new, maybe they think, oh, that's some kind of the small startup company who are doing something with backups, right? Actually, that's not the case. So that's why I'm trying to emphasize this every single time, because we have been here delivering actually uh, solutions for other vendors in the world of data management, right? So protection, monitoring, and PR. Um, and during those years, we have gained a lot of a lot of experience and knowledge. And then we decided to make our own product. And simply that's the history how Haiku was born back in 2017, right? So when we have done the whole rebranding and when we became actually Haiku, right? We entered into very, very strong relationship with Nutanix meaning that Nutanix is actually our strategic technology partner. Um, and that, that's something that I think that we are incredibly proud of because only um, six or seven other companies are having this status, right, with Nutanix. 
Um, that's nothing confidential that I'm sharing. Actually, if you go to Mutanix website, you can easily find that, right? So long story short, at this point, what we have and what we are delivering, we're delivering solutions for Mutanix, for Google, and for Microsoft Asia. Why I'm mentioning all of these three, if you, even though you see other uh, famous logos on this slide, because for Nutanix and Google and Microsoft Asia, we are purposely built. That, that is extremely important. Um, I will explain why, but also you will see it during the demo, why it is important that we, that we are purposely built, because we are actually utilizing the technology of each uh, platform. Um, all the shortcuts and all the beauties of each platform to deliver the easiest um, solution for backup and recovery, right? And maybe the last thing that I would like to mention from this slide is this 91 um, number in the left corner is our NPS. Um, that's pretty new because up until recently we were at 90, so it's jumping every single time. I think when I started in this company, it was around 83, if I'm not mistaken. And actually, from that moment, it just went up and up. So now we are at uh, 91, which is our customer success number. Um, definitely number one on the market compared to all other vendors. And this is extremely important for us because how I see it, if you're doing the whole um, modernization of the data center, right, with Nutanix, with VMware, or you're thinking about the cloud, that's a lot of investment, right? Um, and then you want to back up your data, you're giving your data to somebody, to some company to do the backups and everything. You should be confident in that, right, that that solution is good, uh, that it won't fail, right, that you have good support. So as a company, I believe that Haiku is strongly market-driven. And that's why we have specific uh, teams who are in charge for our customers. So one is Haiku support, of course, 24 seven available, but also we have another team called um, customer satisfaction team, right? Actually very highly scaled technical people who are nurturing our customers, making sure that everything is set up, right? So you have this confidence in us as a product, as a software. Okay. so. That's all mine, but what we do, right? So what are you doing, guys, and how you can help me as a company and I have my data, right? So what we do, actually, we are uh, providing data protection, data mobility, and DR throughout your cloud journey. Um, what does this mean? So even if we're talking about the on-prem, about the, let's say, pure data protection and, um, and, and recovery or migration or data mobility to the cloud, if that would be your, how to say, business um, direction, or simply having a DR uh, Haiku can help you with that. So actually, if we focus only on data assurance, or uh, data protection, actually, we provide this native application consistent and aware backup and recovery functionality for each support platform, right? So what we do, we do offer this one-click simplicity, uh, tight platform integration, application awareness, very important, and simply built-in compliance to the business policies, right? So long story short, Haiku, when, when it comes to data protection, it's super easy to learn, to deploy, and to maintain. Um, you can deploy Haiku in a couple of the minutes, I believe three or four minutes, it's enough, because Haiku is nothing more than just a VM, right, that you, that you boot up, uh, you put it in your system, and actually it goes and discovers all the applications and VMs that you have. We have this application awareness, so you, you don't have to do this manually, right, and it comes back to you and says, hey, do you want to back this up? and you say yes, and then you go, you make your coffee, right? So it's all about that simplicity, about the one click, so you don't waste any um, time or resources uh, or energy at the end of the story with your backups, right? Moving forward regarding data mobility or data migration, so um, Haiku does provide this ability to seamlessly lift and shift production work workloads. So either from the on-prem to the cloud or from one cloud to another or back from the cloud, uh, to the on-prem, right? So actually you have this uh, button that uh, my colleague will show you and actually you can spin up uh, your VM up and down super, super, in a super easy um, fashion, right? Um, and actually uh, you can, Haiku makes it easy to perform uh, self-service on demand migration or staged migration. And uh, last but not least, disaster recovery. Now there's a lot of uh, topics around DR, I believe. Uh, do you have a DR in place? 
are you thinking about the uh, another location that you will use as a DR or simply you will do this uh, left to ship to the cloud? So actually, um, you as a customer, you can have a DR from on-prem to the cloud, uh, to public cloud, right? Or between different regions, right? Depending on a business side. Um, and you have this smooth failover and fail back, uh, fail back cap capabilities of Haiku, meaning actually that DR can be super expensive. Usually that's the case, right? So actually what Haiku does, it eliminates the needs for you to pay this compute high performance storage until you actually need it. So at the point when you actually need it, then you will pay. In the meantime, you won't be uh, paying, which is very important. So um, what are key qualities of Haiku? Actually, um, we strongly believe in uh, simplicity. Now we're important best uh, CCOs, reducing total cost of ownership. And uh, what is very important is that Haiku is actually uh, designed and built for, for the clouds. So if you remember, this is something that I mentioned at the beginning on the first slide, the purpose to build. That is extremely nice, uh, extremely important. If you're a Linux customer or you're, you're having VMware, you shouldn't be having such a complex uh, software um, for backup, right? It should be super, super simple in each and every way. So easy to deploy, easy to manage, to set up your policy, to have this application awareness, auto discovery. So super, super, super simple, okay? So this is actually what we, uh, where we started. I mentioned this, right? So I, I will move my mouse so you can see it, but actually uh, we have started with the on-prem. So we delivered the um, purpose-built solution for Nutanix, um, where we have very tight integration with their engineering team. Uh, we have invested a lot of effort and work into this, but of course now, now we see the outcomes of that tight integration, right? Also, we do support VMware, and here actually you see um, all the targets that Haiku can support. So actually any NFS, SMB, ISCASI. We also have Nutanix Mine with Haiku, and um, as a cloud uh, target, we can support AWS, Azure, or Google, right? So that's the left part of the slide. Then, as I said, we entered into the cloud area. So we delivered Haiku for GCP. Uh, actually uh, software as a service, and then uh, we release Haiku for Azure. So then you could ask me, so that's all nice, but how how, how come this fit into the Haiku Protege story, right? The multi-cloud, this is actually uh, on top, right? So multi-cloud data management is this bridge over all of these solutions, which actually gives the ability for the customer to do with the data what you want. So I can say, first of all, all our solutions are completely agentless. Please have in mind that. So if we're talking about Nutanix, if we're talking about backing up physical servers as well, if we're talking about Azure or GCP or Protege, it's completely no agents, right? Um, you don't have to have an additional infrastructure. You don't have to have an additional software required. So it should be all one, this how we call it, one-click simplicity all around your system, right? So imagine that you have some workload here on the on-prem, for example, on Nutanix, and then I say, okay, that's cool, but I would like to migrate my VMs and put them up in the cloud, and then I have just one click, and then I will do, and I will, how to say, move it simply to my GCP, right? Or I can go from GCP back to my Nutanix. So this is the beauty of it. So it gives you the ability to do with your data whatever you want. On the other side, from the cost perspective, it's very cost efficient because, as I said, when it comes to the DR, you would pay only for when you're using, not all the time, because that can be pretty expensive, right? The compute and, and everything can be very, very, in storage can be very expensive. Um, so this is the wrap up, guys. Actually, you have, simple as that, you have your data, you have your cloud. You can say, I prefer Google or I prefer Azure, right? Later on, of course, when we have AWS, that can be your preference. And then you have the tool or solution, um, thanks to which you will simply control what you want to do with your data. So um, I'm going to make a pause because I would definitely love to leave some time for my colleague to actually show you all of this in action. It's much more interesting than just seeing the, the slides. So uh, Vladimir, I'm going to stop sharing. Yep, just for me to share my screen. Okay.
Okay, should be there. Perfect, we can see it. Okay, guys, so Haiku, as Mila said, uh, can help you protect uh, and manage your on-prem environment as well as uh, Azure and uh, GCP environment and not only protect, but uh, migrate virtual machines and have a cold DR site in the cloud uh, using our Haiku Protégé, right? So let's start with the with the on-prem environment. On-prem environment is just a virtual machine that you deploy on top of your HV or ESXi and gives you the ability to uh, back up your uh, HV or ESXi virtual machines. So you can add multiple sources in that uh, on-prem environment, like a Nutanix or a classical vCenter environment. We are able to back up Nutanix files and a physical Windows service as well. All that we back up is without agents, without proxies. So making it very simple to upgrade and uh, no hassle around uh, creating up upgrade plans or something like that. Additionally, for the Nutanix, we use uh, change file, file change block tracking and as well as for vCenter. But uh, for Nutanix, actually, even for ESXi, we use Nutanix snapshots. So, so we are the only solution to do that, giving you uh, backups uh, for your Nutanix uh, ESXi virtual machines uh, without any VM stun effect. For Nutanix files, we are able to give you the backups of the files, even a couple of files within a million of files can be backed up even each hour, even during production hours, just using uh, change file tracking APIs from the Nutanix. And as I said, physical servers are supported as well uh, without, without, without any, any, actually any agents. And we can back up and uh, to any any target. So you can add uh, any NFS, TIFFs, SMB target. You can add Nutanix Mine, definitely one of the best targets for the backing up of your virtual machines and uh, Nutanix files. And you can use AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud as a, as a uh, backup targets. Uh, additionally, you can use any S3 local compatible targets like Nutanix objects, giving you actually immutable backups, uh, additional layer of protection against ransomware. So with the policies, uh, you can configure your backups and have uh, uh, just translated your business level objectives and service level objectives like RPO, RTO, we have RTO assurance, so we can give you uh, a peace of mind during the backup so you know that you are able to recover your virtual machines and shares within specified RTO time. We can automatically uh, select uh, from multiple targets, uh, giving you the best possible target to, to achieve that RTO time. You can create a copy which will uh, which will give you the option to to have longer retention on the, on a secondary a secondary site and for this you can use cloud as well right gcp or asia or, De or De aws we support archiving like a, like a proper archiving uh, solution supporting grandfather father son relationship and uh, definitely you can support your uh, legislative uh, uh, requirements for for long term term archiving we would uh, we would suggest for this like something like object storage like Nutanix objects or or cloud uh, archiving which can be very cost effective because we support uh, for GCP in Asia we support automatic uh, uh, tiering for for your clouds for AWS uh, we will support it in in the future right uh, additionally, uh, your virtual machines, when you create your policies, uh, you will be uh, protected and will be automatically backed up. But when we start the backup, there is one more thing, uh, very interesting, and this is Nutanix only options. Option, uh, we start the backup with uh, storage layer snapshots, and we give you the ability to retain those storage layer snapshots 
on your source cluster, right? Giving you ability to restore your files, your virtual machines, your databases within a second, actually within a minute, you can restore any virtual machine. And this is additional layer of protection. We had some customers having ransomware attacks and even their virtual machines and their backup targets were uh, encrypted, but we were able to restore their virtual machines using fast restore option uh, and uh, uh, protection using Nutanix snapshots, actually. Uh, additional things that you can configure are backup from replica, which is an option uh, to backup your virtual machines from remote offices and branch offices just using your central site cluster. If you have uh, your protection domain between your central site cluster and uh, remote offices, all of those VMs are backed up centrally. You can, uh, uh, are actually re replicated centrally and just choose the central site cluster and we will use the, so the same snapshots and replicate the remote virtual machines uh, without utilizing any additional bandwidth between your central site and remote sites. And we heavily rely on automation. So auto assignment is an option to give, uh, uh, if you use some VM categories or VM tags and define it like this, this uh, policy will be automatically assigned to your virtual machines and backup them uh, as they appear in, in HiQ. Additionally, you can back up your virtual machines as a default, uh, setting any, any, any of the policies as a default. So any virtual machine having those tags or not having those tags will be automatically backed up uh, by HiQ. You don't even have to go to, to, to your HiQ uh, UI to back it up, right? And everything that, uh, that we back up, we, we can back up uh, virtual machines classically as a crash consistent if you don't have uh, any applications. If you do have an application, you just give us a credential, apply those credentials to the virtual machines and we will automatically discover applications. And when you apply a policy to those applications, we will create automatically uh, a application consistent backups. And not only that we will be able to give you uh, file level recovery and full VM level recovery, we will be able to give you restoration of the uh, applications in application consistent matter, like a database, uh, like, like a database uh, restoration for the exchange or the SQL or, or mailbox restoration for the exchange, right? or the SQL uh, server restoration, even restoration in point in time if, if needed. So these, all of these uh, integration and automatic discovery and granular application recovery is provided uh, without uh, any agents installed on virtual machines. Uh, so you can back up Nutanix shares, we are the most integrated solution for the, for that. And this is actually our on-prem environment. You can see any jobs, any events, create the mail notifications, create the reports. We give you a powerful report builder. So you have some of the reports predefined, but you can just drag and drop and, and create your own reports. Save it, schedule it, and send it to you by, by email. Additionally, there are, there is a self-service option to give uh, to give your customers ability to create groups of uh, their own people or uh, service providers uh, uh, groups for each of their customers and to ability to to have the virtual machine backups uh, that can be done and restoration that can be done only by them, right? And as I said, our our Haiku is just a virtual machine. So a software upgrade for Haiku is just uh, just giving, uh, you download a new, new image for the Haiku, upload it to your Nutanix or ESXi, you will get it here in the drop-down menu. You, you click the software upgrade and the upgrade is done without, without any in, uh, interaction with the production VMs and within five minutes. So 
this is for on-prem clouds. So you can back up any on-prem on -prem cloud environment that you have. Uh, on-prem virtualization, but we do have uh, high queues for GCP, so you can back up your virtual machines on the GCP, or high queue for Asia and giving you the ability to, to back up your resource groups uh, within an Asia. Uh, they are pretty much the same, so I will show you mostly on a, on a GCP platform. So our high queue for GCP and Asia uses integrated authentication for each respective cloud, no additional authentication. Uh, as soon as you, so you as soon as you go to, to your high queue and login, you will see all the virtual machines that you have access to. And this is the proper backup as a service solution. So meaning scaling up and down uh, how how do you need this to do, right? You don't do the management, you don't do the configuration additional during the, the uh, regarding the resources, you don't deploy anything, right? We do that for you. You just go to your marketplace on uh, GCP or Azure, uh, look for HiQ and click for the sub subscribe. When you subscribe, there is a 14-day trial for GCP and a trial for uh, Azure as well. And then within 30 minutes, you are able to back up your virtual machines. And each of those respective cloud solutions that we provide are uh, actually built in for that cloud. Uh, first of all, there is no separate billing for us. You get the bill from uh, Azure or from GCP. Uh, second thing, uh, we leverage every functionality that Azure, Azure and GCP have, like uh, we have integration with the snapshots for, for Azure and GCPs. And we can create the backup policies using those snapshots, so regional or multi-regional, using the buckets, uh, creating the backup window when you want to do a backup creating the copy on a separate bucket, right? On a separate region, doing the archiving to whatever archiving policy did you create? Pretty much the same as for the on-prem and labeling also giving you automation for the, for the apply application, assi assigning of those uh, policies uh, to, to the virtual machines on GCP in Asia. Definitely there is also a set as default policy as well. So you can back up your uh, VM instances uh, in your cloud, even without going to, to the high queue for those clouds. And definitely there are reports and uh, notifications as well. But we don't stop here. We actually have the high queue protege, which integrates our on-prem and a high queue for respective cloud. So this high queue for, for protege, actually you have the ability to, to migrate ad hoc uh, some of your virtual machines or all of your uh, all of your workloads from on-prem to GCP or Azure or from GCP and Azure back to on-prem. So uh, this can be done as an ad hoc migration or a planned migration. And definitely, not only that we can spin it up to the cloud as uh, something that you planned on, or you want to do it uh, on some occasions, right? Uh, you can utilize this possibility to uh, for, of, the, of the protege to have a cold DR on any of those two clouds, right? AWS, I think, will come until the end of the year or beginning of the next year. So you start the migration within your uh, high queue on-prem. You just choose what is the, the project that you have and the cloud account that you added to your high queue on-prem. And you can spin one of the virtual machines directly from on-prem to, to the cloud, right? And just click spin it up you will see that migration is starting and that we are now shipping this virtual machine onto the cloud. And 
till this is done. Actually, let me show you. Uh, if you have those virtual machines backed up with some kind of policy, like a cloud policy in this case, which is uh, backing up uh, those uh, those VMs on local target and copying it to the cloud. If you lose your local environment, all you have to do is, because you already have backups on the cloud, all you have to do is just pin up on-prem version of HiQ in the same cloud as a virtual machine, import your targets like this, choose the same, for instance, Google Cloud target and the same Google Cloud account type the bucket that you used, and you will see all your backups directly in the cloud, and then you can restore those VMs to the cloud, spin it up on the cloud itself, and use those VMs until you fix your on-prem environment. And this is the beauty of the HiQ uh, Protégé. We don't require any of the CPU and memory resources until the DR event is there, right? So no running any virtual machines in, in front of uh, the DR, just subscribed for the HiQ for GCP or Azure, and you will have the functionality, definitely with some licenses as well. That's it, guys. This is very short introduction to both on-prem, uh, GCP, and uh, Azure. And one more thing, yes, for all of the environments, we give you REST AP explorers, so you can use REST AP and script everything that we that we give you as an ability to do in GCP, Azure, or on-prem. And all you have. Uh, if you have multiple multiple environments and multiple high queues, we give you management console to, to be able to see all of those high queues together in one pane of glass and add those high queue controllers both for on-prem and both for, for the cloud and see how are they working right. Get the events, email notifications, from all of them and if you need to, to configure anything just click and it will guide you toward that respective controller that's it guys from my side any questions Any questions, guys? I think that there are no questions. You can just unmute if you have a question or you can send us um, on the chat. So if there is no questions, I mean, um, you can find all the details that we discussed on our virtual boot. You can download documentation, you can find the links. And of course, um, if somebody of your colleagues missed this webinar, you can hear the recording as Eric uh, said. However, for any future reference or any additional information, either uh, for you as potential customer or if you're a partner that you would like to propose some of these solutions to your end customers, feel free to reach out to us directly or you can always contact Arrow team and then they will get us through, right? So feel free to contact us. We'll be happy to hear from you guys. You can get a 45 day of trial for the on-prem environment, 15 day, 14 day of trial for the cloud environment. And uh, afterwards, if it's okay for you, we can do a POC fully on your environment as well. So just contact us. Yeah, actually what we have now, uh, when it comes to Haiku for Azure, uh, it's completely until end of June free of charge, right? But we also have this one campaign called the June is month of Haiku, maybe you saw it, where you can actually have um, one terabyte of Nutanix files free of charge. You can get free one terabyte uh, per month Haiku for GCP and also get free Haiku for Asia for one month. So um, that's something that uh, we can share with you so you can have this requested from us. 
as our, let's say, June campaign. But nevertheless, guys, anything um, on top of your mind, an additional question, technical or more commercial, uh, really feel free to reach out to us. Perfect. If there are no questions, I would like to thank uh, you all for your time. I hope this was interesting for you. I would like to thank Eric for organizing this. And then I wish you a pleasant last day at virtual IT conference.